friends here i have already opened up adobe dreamware cs6 now i'm opening an html document let me save it first i'm saving it the name of position property yes now to understand positioning property let me first insert a div let me apply some css to it i'm using internal style sheet for this document now box let me give width and height to this box of 400 pixels let me give background color to be flat now let me give margin to be auto This is more or less what you have expected. Now we will come to positioning property. By default, this div is having static position. But what if I wanted to move this box to left? So here we have. I set the position to relative. When I am giving position property. I mean now I have ability to move this box to top left right bottom so here I give top Two hundred pixels. Let's look up at preview. What happens? See, I'm refreshing my page. What happened? I have told it to go to the top two hundred pixels. It shouldn't move to the top two hundred pixels. No, this is what confuses lot. people in html and css this means it is pushing down to it 200 pixels to the bottom that is see here when we are saying top 200 pixel we do not mean go to the top 200 pixels but we mean go to the 200 pixels down push yourself to 200 pixels down from the top now what if i say right and i mean from the right push yourself 200 pixel that is it will be pushed to the left 200 pixels see here let's preview see now the box is pushed 200 pixels from the right towards left now what if i remove this margin auto let's preview let's reload the page see now the box is pushed out of the page that is because of this right value let me remove it Let's reload the page. 
Next you notice little white space from top and left. Why it is so? It is because of the browser's default margin that we can easily remove by styling our body margin 0 pixels. See, now what if we want to move our box to the left 400 pixels. Now it's been adjusted. But what if we want to move this box to the bottom 200 pixels? Remember, we want to bottom here because it will push off the page again towards top. Now we will do top 200 pixels. See now it's adjusted that is top from the 200 pixels. So you might be thinking it's easy to understand up till now but what's about absolute position? See now, when I specify position to absolute, how it changes. We see no change. It is identical because we are defining it in terms of browser's window, in simple language, in terms of body. Now, it is going to be very different when we are going to define it in terms of another context. So let me remove this all and let's have margin auto position relative Top 30 pixels, left 20 pixels. Let's preview now. Yes. See, now it has been adjusted. Now, what if I remove position relative to absolute? Let's preview. See here, when I reload, the div goes to the left. Why? This makes no sense, but actually it does. When we are saying to position absolute, it means that we are saying it to move top 30 pixel and left 20 pixels from its nearest parent. The nearest parent in this case is body. So from the body, it is top 30 pixels and left 20 pixels. So let's have a better example now. I'm gonna wrap this div box with an another div. So let me insert a div. Div id wrap. Let me close this wrap. See, now my div box is wrapped inside my div wrap. Now let me specify properties for this div wrap. Let's give a width of 800 pixels, height 400 pixels, Let's give background color to make it visible. Now margin auto. Sorry, typo error here. 
Now let's preview. See here, now it might be confusing to you. S, now its nearest parent is wrapper. Then why it's not adjusting itself to its nearest parent wrapper? Well, not yet. Unless we will position wrap. Yet, wrap is not positioned. So, if we will position wrap as relative. Let's reload the page. Now it has been adjusted because now we are saying it that absolutely position yourself in relation to the div rep. Now it is limited to the width, height and boundaries of rep as the nearest parent of box is rep now. Now hopefully that makes sense. As I am explaining to you, I myself can understand how much confusing it is. But that small position property is. See here, when I am saying it top 30 pixels and 20 pixels from the left as it is positioned, now it is no longer adjusting itself from the browser's window as it is now absolutely positioned to the its nearest parent which is wrap, not the body. If I say it to 0, it is adjusting itself to this div wrap, not to the body. And if I remove this position property, now direct it is in relation with the properties of body, not with the div wrap. So it is now 0 from the top and 0 from the left in relation to the body. So this is what position property is. So this is done friends and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me, do subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.